Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from TechStore and in this video, we're going to be showing you the latest Dell Inspiron 14 Plus, the 7440 we have hands-on with us today. So if you are here to watch this video, if you have not made the buying decision, then you can after watching the video, evaluate whether you should buy this laptop or if you've already purchased this laptop and you want to upgrade the inner battery or RAM or SSD or things that you have inside, then this is the video for you. So let's do it. So out of the box, this Dell Inspiron 7440 Plus comes with a 65 watt barrel jack adapter. So this is the adapter that comes along with the 3 pin uh, power cable also. So this belongs to the thin and light category and the weight is around 1.4 kgs for the 14 inches variant. Whichever uh, processor you have taken, the weight will be around 1.4 kgs. So the thin and light uh, laptop. The battery backup is somewhere around 5 to 6 hours depending on the usage. So this uh, Dell variant comes in multiple uh, uh, configurations. The one we have today is a Core i5-12500H processor based variant with a 16GB RAM, 500GB SSD, Windows and MS Office. This is a purely metallic ice blue variant that we are going to be reviewing today. There are variants available with touchscreen with Core 7 Ultra, Core 5 Ultra also. They all look the same. There are only two variants basically. One is a touch one, one is a non-touch variant. Today we are reviewing the non-touch variant Core i5 12th generation. The outlook, the build quality absolutely remains the same. On the top over here, you can see the finish is absolutely premium. Uh, it has got this Dell logo, which is a little engraved. It is not purely painted also, you can say, but looks very neat and uh, settles into the design. And a very good uh, light bluish finish that they have given uh, to the entire body. Once you open, uh, you have the 14 inches, uh, 16 is to 10 aspect ratio screen. Uh, in front of you, it is a fantastic IPS panel screen. It's got a webcam shutter over here. Nits, uh, 300 nits value uh, for any 7440 and uh, anti-glare screen, IPS panel, full HD. There are other variants available in QHD also. The one that we're reviewing is a full HD variant. The keyboard quality also is fantastic. The key travel is uh, very nice. It's got good rays on the keyboard. The keyboard is a 14 inches keyboard. It does not have a numpad. The power button and the fingerprint scanner is integrated into one button. So that might be a little bit of a difficulty. You have the co-pilot button over here. Again, the entire uh, inner palm rest also is completely of the same color. There is absolutely no difference in the color in the front top uh, as well as in the touchpad palm rest. It's a very slim laptop on the left. Uh, the entry-level variants do not have C-type charging, but the Core 7 Ultra and Core Ultra 5 have got C-type charging. But this one has got a barrel jack, PC jack. It's got a power indicator, HDMI uh, 2.0. It's got a USB 3.2, C-type uh, Thunderbolt USB, left side. On the front, there are absolutely no IOs whatsoever. On the right, you have a headphone mic combi. You have a micro SD card reader. You have a heat dissipation vent area. That's a very good addition to have. And you have another uh, USB 3.2. On the rear also, you have got two rear uh, dissipation vents. So that is something uh, very good because it's got an edge processor and uh, it generates some amount of heat. On the base here, uh, you only have uh, this perforated area, one single fan for this particular model. And it looks very neat. Uh, it's got these two rudders over here as well as one rudder, which is a little raised. The speakers are over here, left and right. So they are bottom firing speakers. So let's check if there is a top flex on this particular laptop being a metal body. As you can see, the flex is very, very low. Uh, only a little bit of flex at the center, but the sides is very tight. So very nice, robust design over here. Now let's see if the laptop opens with a one hand operation. Absolutely, flawlessly. No problem whatsoever opening with one hand. So the hinges are very, very robust on this particular laptop. As soon as you open, uh, you'll see a three-sided nano bezel uh, screen. The bezels are very narrow, uh, narrow enough. Only this uh, webcam part is a little thicker than the two side bezels. The palm rest area also, the keyboard is sort of a islandish keyboard that you have. Uh, it merges inside the touchpad palm rest area. Now let's check the audio quality, the speaker quality of this particular laptop. Fantastic. 
The audio quality is phenomenal actually for the speakers that are there inside. And the bass is also very good. It's pretty loud also. So good job on the speakers here. Now let's check the webcam quality of this particular laptop. So this is the this is shot from the Dell Inspiron 14 plus 7440 and you can see the quality is very good. Even the audio capture is pretty nice because of the dual array microphone that they have, they have uh, integrated. So a good job on the web camera. So let's now dig deep into the laptop and see how we can upgrade or uh, do changes to the inners of this particular laptop. First thing you need to do is uh, flip the laptop and you need to have a star screwdriver and a triangular prior like this. You need to open these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws in total. Start unscrewing from here. Remember these two screws will not come out. They'll create this protruding area for you to put the triangular prior and start protruding very slowly. And same with this side also. And the panel will come out. So these are the inners of the Dell Inspiron 14 plus 7440, you can see. This is the place where the SSD is, the battery, the fan, the Wi-Fi chip, the thermal heat sink over here. So surprisingly, you cannot see the RAM being upgradable. So this particular laptop does not have a RAM upgradability. So let's start by removing the battery first. So if you want to just replace the battery, just remove this particular uh, strip over here okay and then there are screws and the battery can be removed uh, very comfortably so the battery is a v6 w33 uh, part number battery it's a 54 watt hours and uh, you can just take a similar battery like this and uh, you can again refit and uh, replace your battery. Now coming to the part where the SSD is, if you want to replace the SSD, you just need to remove this screw over here. They have given is a M.2 NVMe Gen 4 uh, SSD. This one screw has to be removed. This is a 2230 form factor SSD, the small variant. You, you can take the longer ones and you can also put it up. So right now this has got a Micron 512 GB SSD. Just take a 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte M.2 NVMe Gen 4 SSD. It can be a 2230, the small one or a long format 2280 also. And you can just put it back like this. And just put it back over here. You want to remove the Wi-Fi chip, this is the only screw that you have to remove. You just need to unscrew this Wi-Fi chip over here. And uh, need to remove these antenna cables, black and white. Remove the Wi-Fi chip. So this is a Wi-Fi chip that you have to purchase. Just buy a similar Wi-Fi chip. And uh, just insert it back like this. Put the antennas back. It goes and fits fine. So now if you are here to replace the processor fan, in a scenario uh, your fan is not working, you just need to remove this screw over here and this particular screw over here. The fan is out. There is this power connector that you need to remove like this, just gently. And this is the fan that you need to replace with. Just take a similar fan like this. It's available with Dell directly or with uh, our website. And take a similar fan like this and just press it. 
So this here is the keyboard connector. This is the touchpad connector. In a scenario, touchpad is behaving erratically. You can just put it up like this. Just put it out. You can pull out this particular strip and your touchpad will stop working. Same with the keyboard also. So this is the backlit part. This is the keyboard connector. These are the speakers. So in a scenario, your laptop speakers are not working. So the speaker connectivity is over here. This is the speaker uh, DC jack. You just need to remove these. There, there are no screws whatsoever. You can just pull it out, pull it out. And this wire over here and this entire wire over here that you have to remove and uh, you're good to go. This here is the VGA cable. Uh, this connects to the screen of your uh, laptop. In a scenario, you have an issue with the screen, no power on, no display. You can just remove it and again put it back. Many times the work happens. This is the DC jack part over here. This connects to the DC jack over here. So this also you can remove by removing these two screws. The hinges will come out and you can remove this DC jack and replace the DC jack also. Let's now put the base cover back. Just start by pressing it in all places. Okay. And first thing first, you need to screw this hinge screw. There will be a lot of crackling sound, do not worry. Uh, there's just flower bracket arrangements that are re, uh, getting reconnected. And you can just again power it on. It will take some time, first time when you boot after uh, you know, removing the SSD or uh, removing the battery. Because there is no RAM whatsoever, so don't worry, be patient, the display will come. So this was the video showing you the review as well as the disassembly upgradation process of the Dell Inspiron 14 plus 7440 series, series of laptops. This is the 7000 metallic series of laptops. The one that we have reviewed today is a Core i5 12th generation 12450H processor based laptop. With 16 GB DDR5 that is soldered, you cannot upgrade the RAM on the 7440. Obviously, as of now, the 16 GB is good enough for you, but tomorrow, if you want upgradability, then this is not the laptop for you. This laptop is absolutely working fine for uh, all your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, basic usage, basic editing, basic gaming. But if you want to go beyond, then it does not come with graphic card. So you need to buy something that comes with graphic card. The screen quality is fantastic. Uh, that is the best part about the laptop. It's got a 16 to 10 aspect ratio screen. The weight is around 1.4 kgs. Uh, the battery backup is around five to six hours in our testing. On normal usage, if you uh, want to use for YouTubing or video or watching uh, continuously movie or web series, then it might be around three hours. The 54 watt hour battery that comes along with it is very good for uh, the usage. The build quality is very robust because it is metallic completely. Uh, the upgrade options are not that much. Only SSD can be upgraded. We've also showed you how to upgrade, uh, remove the battery and replace in a scenario watching this video two, three years from the point of time you've taken this laptop. The webcam quality is also very good. The keyboard comes with a backlit keyboard and is very, very good. And it does not have a numpad. Uh, the webcam has got a webcam shutter also. The touchpad is a multi-gesture touchpad. Overall, all in all, this is a good package for around 65,000 rupees uh, here in India. And it goes way up to 1 lakh, 1 lakh 20,000 rupees, depending on the configuration that it has. So if you're taking a Core 7 Ultra 16 GB or a 32 GB with one terabyte variant, it will be around 1 lakh 5,000 rupees and a Core Ultra 5 will be around the 85 to 90,000 rupees. It has also got a 13th generation variant, but we suggest you pass the 13th generation, you at least instead of the 12th generation, you can buy a Core Ultra series laptop. So if you want to buy this laptop, uh, it's your decision to take. I have given you my point. Thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us.